Hello and welcome. My name is Alan and we are back with more members of the 118th Congress. Today we are looking at Representative Robin L. Kelly. She represents the 2nd District of Illinois, which is just south of Chicago, down along the Indiana-Illinois border. Now, she is a Democrat, and before she took office, she was preceded in office by Jesse Jackson Jr., now, let's take a look at who she is as an individual. She was born in New York, New York on April the 30th, 1956. Graduated from Rhodes Prep, Rhodes Prep High School in New York, New York in 1973. Earned a Bachelor of Arts from Bradley University in Peoria, Illinois in 1977. Earned a Master's of Art from Bradley University in Peoria, Illinois in 1982. Earned a Ph.D. from Northern Illinois University in DeKalb, Illinois in 2004. Has been a counselor, a community affairs director for Madison, Illinois from, from 1992 to 2006. Member of the Illinois State House of Representatives, 2003 to 2007. Uh, Chief of Staff to the Illinois State Treasurer, 2007 to 2010. The Cook County, Illinois Chief Administrative Officer, 2010 to 2012. Before being elected as a Democrat, to the 113th Congress by special election to fill the vacancy caused by the resignation of U.S. Representative Jesse L. Jackson Jr. and re-elected to the five following Congresses. So she is in term six. Now let's look at the committees she is on. She is on the Committee on Energy and Commerce, of which she's on the Subcommittee on Communications and Technology the Subcommittee on Health, and the Subcommittee on Innovation, Data, and Commerce. Now let's look at her top five industry donors over her career. At the top, we have pharmaceuticals and health products. Altogether, have donated $553,600. Next is health professionals, who altogether have donated $552,468. Next is Lawyers Law Firms, who all together have donated $390,824. Next is Building Trade Unions, who all together have donated $312,400. And at number five is Public Sector Unions, who all together have donated $291,265. Now let's look at her top five individual donors and contributors over her career. At the top, number one, we have Blue Cross Blue Shield, and they are an American Federation or Super Organization of, in 2022, 34 independent and locally operated Blue Cross Blue Shield Association companies that provide health insurance in the United States to more than 115 million people. Altogether, they have donated $61,750. And once again, that's Blue Cross Blue Shield. Next, at number two, we have Sheet Metal Air, Rail, and Transportation Union. And their full name is the International Association of Sheet Metal, Air, Rail, and Transportation Workers. And they are a North American labor union headquartered in Washington, D.C. and chartered by the AFL-CIO in 2013. Altogether, they have donated $60,000. And once again, that's the Sheet Metal, Air, Rail, and Transportation Union. Next, at number three, 
we have the United Food and Commercial Workers Union. And they are a labor union representing approximately 1.3 million workers in the United States and Canada in industries including retail, meat packing, food processing, and manufacturing, hospitality, agriculture, cannabis, chemical trades, security, textile, and healthcare. Altogether, they have donated $58,500. And once again, that's the United Food and Commercial Workers Union. Next, at number four, we have Laborers Union. Their full name is the Laborers International Union of North America and is often shortened to just Laborers Union. It is an American and Canadian labor union formed in 1903. Altogether, it has donated $58,000. And once again, that's Laborers Union. And at number five, we have American Crystal Sugar, and they are an agricultural cooperative specializing in the production of sugar and related agri products. American, yeah, it altogether it has donated $55,000, and once again, that's American Crystal Sugar. Now let's take a quick look at her donors industry-wise. Pharmaceuticals and health products. Uh, health professionals. Uh, lawyers and law firms. Uh, building trade unions. Wonderful. Public sector unions. Wonderful. Individually. Blue Cross Blue Shield. Yeah. Sheet Metal, Air, Rail, and Transportation Union, wonderful. United Food and Commercial Workers Union, wonderful. Laborers Union, wonderful. American Crystal Sugar, uh, anyway, this has been a look at Representative Robin L. Kelly who represents the second district of Illinois. As always, educate thyself. Think, read, study, learn. Someone tells you something you have trouble believing, ask them to cite their sources. I'll be putting links in the description box below the video. Thank you all for watching. Ooh, I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, later.